Mark Mugalian knows what it's like to be shot by a terrorist. Back in the force of the shot, did kind of push me forward and I felt like I was just hovering in the air for just a second. August 21st, on a high-speed train traveling from Amsterdam to Paris, Mugalian's one of the first to see an armed terrorist. He jumps on the gunman, an act that nearly costs his life. The bullet broke two ribs, uh, pierced my left lung, and then came up through the neck and came out here. The gunshot alerts the rest of the passengers to the danger. The attacker, armed with an assault rifle, a semi-automatic handgun, a box cutter, and gasoline, could kill dozens on the crowded train. But three more Americans run to the rescue. Among them, U.S. Air Force paramedic Spencer Stone, who subdues the gunman and treats Mugalian. He said, you know, you're a hero. But I didn't feel like a hero because I thought that the hero gets the guy. Paris, Friday the 13th. Like everyone, Mugalian is sickened by the slaughter. And then horrified to hear the man behind it is also believed to have plotted the attack that nearly killed him. A terrifying connection. I can now put myself to a certain degree in the places of the victims lying there in their own blood, knowing they're going to die, but nobody came to save them. All the money saved. Mugalian still recovering from his own wounds and his love of music is part of that healing. It's not always easy, but he is alive. He'd like to meet with some of the wounded from the Paris attack. How would that conversation begin? How are you? You know, maybe you know who I am. Uh, I went through something kind of similar, and I'm glad to see that you've made it through. And uh, if there's anything you'd like to talk about, uh, anything at all uh, that we could share, because it was a scary experience for me. <laughs> Just as on the train, Mugalian believes he has a role to play. This time, not as a hero, but as a survivor, spreading the message of hope.